Welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to introduce you to a recent update to the Google Apps Control Panel. So previously there weren't too many options for Chrome settings within the Google Apps Control Panel, but with this recent update, Google Apps admins now have the ability to set plenty of policies and preferences for their Google Apps domain. So what this means is that whenever a Google Apps user logs into their Google Apps account in the Chrome browser, you can preset settings for the browser. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So we're going to access the control panel by clicking the settings here and then manage this domain. And we'll click view all settings and then select Chrome from this link on the left hand side. So when you open this up, you'll notice a vast amount of settings and preferences that you can customize for your domain. So I'm not going to be able to go through all of them because there really is an extensive amount. But I'm just going to highlight a few of that I think are pretty important and useful to you guys. So as we move on down, you'll notice this apps and extensions section. So this allows you to pre-install apps for your user's Chrome browsers. So let's say I want to have some apps load on my user's Chrome browsers whenever they open them. So I'm going to go down here to pinned apps and extensions and then click manage pinned apps. And then from here I have the option to either select apps from the Chrome web store, my private domain apps, or specify a custom app. I'm just going to go into the Chrome Web Store for now, and I'm going to install some of the basic apps. So I'll type in Gmail, and add regular Gmail and Gmail offline. I'm also going to add Google Drive and Google Plus. So I'm going to save all those. And we'll continue scrolling down through all of these settings. So there are some security settings here like password manager. You also have the option to predetermine which URLs you want to load. So you could load a number of them by just by separating them on their own line and they can just open up a new tab. So for example, I'll have googleguru.com and this is particularly great because I can specify these settings by my different org units. So obviously I think it'll be important to have my development team have different preset URLs than my marketing team. So for example, I could scroll down to marketing and add Google Analytics or maybe WordPress or something like that that is specific to my marketing team. And then on the flip side, I can go into development and specify URLs that are specific to them. So this adds a great opportunity for customization. So let's scroll down some more. And then you also have the option to block some URLs as well. So then when I'm done, I can obviously just click Save Changes to save all my changes and apply them to my domain. So that's all I'm going to go over for right now. That was just kind of a basic introduction to this new Chrome settings section of the Google Apps Control Panel. I think probably one of the most exciting things is being able to not only just apply these settings to your domain, but apply them to your different individual org units. So you can test out some of these features with one org unit that is maybe quick to adopt, and then slowly roll them out to your other org units as you feel more comfortable with them using Chrome. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any more questions about this new Chrome settings section, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.